By default, SwiftUI provides voiceover readouts for its UI controls, and most of these are great, but sometimes they won't quite do what you need. In these situations, it's helpful to be able to separate a control's value from its label, but you can also provide custom adjustable actions. So as you use swipes, it runs code of your choosing. For example, we might build a view that shows uh, some kind of input controlled by buttons, like a custom design stepper. We'll say at state private var value is equal to 10. Then our body is a V stack with text of that value showing the value currently. We'll add a button called increment that will add one to value. And then a button called decrement that will subtract one. Oh, decrement that will subtract one from the value like that. And that might work just the way you want with a tap interaction, but it's not a great experience with voiceover because whenever they tap increment, it'll just read increment, 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 or decrement, decrement, decrement. It won't say what the value now is. And to fix this, we can give iOS custom instructions to handle our adjustment. We can uh, group our VSAC together using accessibility element. So the whole thing's read as one thing. We can give it a default value or a default label, sorry, calling this thing value. That's what it's called, value. We'll then say it also has a custom value. What's the value inside this uh, element? In our case, it'll be the string of the current value. But then we'll add our own adjustable action, this thing here. And this is gonna provide us with the direction of the swipe at its parameter. Which direction? Did the user try and adjust this thing, up or down? Now in this case, up or down are the only options, increment and decrement, but we also have to provide a default case to handle unknown future values. Apple has reserved the right to add other kinds of adjustments in the future. In this case, we're gonna say switch on uh, direction. If they ask us to increment the thing, we'll do, code on here, we'll do value plus equals one, if that's a decrement it, we'll do value minus equals one. And if we're trying to do anything else, default will print not handled here. And this means folks who aren't using voiceover or similar will go ahead and tap the buttons as normal. But folks who are using other kinds of voiceover activities will get this different UI instead. It looks the same, but they can now swipe up and down on it to activate our adjustable action here. And what will happen is, when they first tap on a thing, it'll say value, 10. When I swipe upwards, it'll just say 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so forth. It's a much nicer UI. It's a much more natural way of working with voiceover.